Good morning, it's Monday the 30th of May and this is your Daily Outlook. Dollar trading remained under pressure with rising stocks and easing European fears, helping to encourage most majors higher. Dollar Swiss hit all-time lows with the Swiss strengthening on a combination of relative safety and dollar weakness. The May UOM increased 1.9 points to 74.3. In US stocks, the Dow closed up 38 points, closing at 12,441. The S&P was up 5 points, closing at 1,331. And the Nasdaq closed up 13 points, closing at 2,796. Looking ahead today is a bank holiday for Memorial Day. The euro was able to shrug off concerns that the Greece bailout will be revoked, with Greece reportedly missing fiscal saving targets. Strong risk appetite is supporting the euro, but euro sterling and euro Swiss selling suggests broad underperformance. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 141.84 and a high of 143.25 before closing the day at around 143.10 in the New York session. The Japanese yen f- fell below 81 on dollar weakness but was relatively unchanged on most of the crosses. April's CPI was strong at 0.6% versus minus 0.1% previously. US data is still very important for the major and is responsible for most of the direction. Overall, the dollar yen traded with a low of 80.70 and a high of 81.30 before closing the day at around 80.90 in the New York session. Gold broke above the 1,530 to hit multi-week highs, overall trading with a low of $1,518 an ounce and a high of 1537 before ending the New York session at 1535 Oil was stable above $100 a barrel, ending slightly higher, and WTI oil closed up 0.36 cents at $100.60 a barrel. Currencies to watch out for today. The euro dollar pivot point is at 142.10, with a preference to enter into long positions at 142.20. The dollar yen pivot point is at 81.30, with a preference to enter into short positions at 81.40. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 106.50, with a preference to enter into long positions at 106.65. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 163.80 with a preference to enter into long positions at 163.80 and the dollar CAD pivot point is at 0.9750 with a preference to enter into long positions at 0.9750. Now let's take a look at commodities. The oil pivot point is 101.25 with a preference to enter into short positions at 101.25. The gold pivot point is at 1523 with a preference entering into long positions at 1523 and the silver pivot point is at 37.20, with a preference to enter into long positions at 37.20. Taking a look at today's calendar and market movers, Canada current account for quarter one is expected at minus 8.8 billion, and Canada GDP quarter one month on month for March is expected at 0.3%. Now on to equity markets. US equities were positive on Friday with the SP500 up 0.41% and the Dow was up 0.31%. The European bursts were positive with the FTSE up 0.98%, the DAC was up 0.69% and the CAC was up 0.86%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was down 0.18% and the Hang Seng was up 0.37%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Andrew from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a great day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.